your present one time. So we'll set down the Corsa. <laughs> guys <laughs> welcome to my new Lamborghini Urus how do you pronounce it Urus 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 never been in one of these things this is one of the few like I'm not a big supercar guy I'm not a big uh, Ferrari guy I mean I'm sure if I had like crazy money I would own one just to own one but the Lamborghini Urus Urus um, this is one of those vehicles that when these things came out I'm like yeah I want that it's about as small of a vehicle as I would ever drive um, and own I don't know if you guys have ever seen inside of one of these we're in Corsa mode you can change your modes over here I don't know I don't know how you go up how do we go up I can give it a rev now oh hold on. Put it in Corsa. let me go back to Corsa oh all right I think we need one guys I think we need one what do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? It's so fancy on the HVAC system down here. We got 15 miles to empty. It's like I already own this thing. It's almost out of fuel. Oh, look at this. We got active horsepower and torque readings on this bad boy. We're currently running at three horsepower. This makes the big numbers, guys. It makes the big numbers. This thing, I'm in love with this thing. I want one. All right, gofundme.com slash get D-Max Rhino, a Lamborghini Urus. Urus. What do we got going on up here? All right, we got our little SOS. How do we turn the lights? Oh, jeez. Whoa, hold up. You know, you gotta push the light. You just, you just get your hand next to the light and it turns on. I'm assuming that's the volume knob. You guys know I'm a volume knob guy. Lamborghini knew this. Everything else is touch screen or you don't even gotta touch it. You just gotta get near it uh, somehow, all right? But they knew Ryan's gonna wanna buy one of these one day. So we better put a real volume knob in this thing for him. This thing plus with a satin black wrap on it. Looks absolutely killer. Absolutely killer. Oh, you want your keys back? Yeah. To your Lamborghini? Yes. Oh, my bad, dude. Here. Here you go, buddy. I, I apologize, man. Chris, can I start your car again? <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. We've got the hardest working guy here at Genesis Detailing. Well, this guy must make the big decisions, man. Look, he's the best dressed here. Huge. Sits at the desk, got a computer. Dang, dude. From Take here? care of her, all right? Oh, thank yeah, you. keep keep an eye on it for me. Of course. Anyway. All right, appreciate it. Uh -huh. Tip the guy, man. Tip the guy? Yeah. At least you can do no, that's 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 a twenty. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. Appreciate that. Yeah. Cheap, man. Cheap. Oh, all right. Well, uh, oh. you know, unfortunately, it's not our Lamborghini. But you know, this truck's comparable to Lamborghini, I think, right, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. It's luxury. Well, the good news is, uh, in this box behind me right here, we got something better than a Lamborghini. We're gonna go install that right now. Let's go, Chris. Let's do it. So we made it to HQ here. We've already got Chris's bike here. Brought it down yesterday from the ranch. We're ready to start tearing this thing apart. He's got the championship cup coming up this weekend. Big race. Uh, I thought, thought Chris was behind me. I don't know where he went. Chris! Oh, what are you hiding? Oh. You know, Chris got himself a sponsored rider for his team. Yep, right? Yep, sure did. You know, if you got a sponsored rider, you gotta give him some parts. Some parts All right, let's see what we got on the box. Dang, dude, we got instructions. Is that the bike? Mm, that's the bike. All right, I think we got this. Dang, son. This big money stuff right here. Look at that. Mm. Elka Shock Stage 2. Choo, choo. So what you don't know about Chris's bike is, uh, Chris, sit on your bike real quick. Let's, let's, show, let's show him what it does. They don't do anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything? Let's just, just show him what it does. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what? Go up and down. <laughs> yeah, so we're not sure if like his shock's blown or something's just kind of going weird on his shock. But these things are rated for like, I don't know, 75 pound kids. So Chris got the Elka Stage 2. This thing is preset to his riding style and his weight. Pro. So what is that like? Pro. Tra training wheels. Pro. 200 uh -huh. and uh, what are we at now? 180? 190? What, wait? Yeah. Right now, not 200. 200, all right. All right, we'll start tearing this apart. You said you were gonna put it together. Ah, yeah. Dang, your seat cover's already dirty? Or is that Dog, I use my, my bike. You gonna use it on that freestyle ramp? Yes. You heard it? Yes, Chris, freestyle ramp. James already built the big landing for it. Nine foot freestyle ramp. Dude, you scared me. You scared me. <laughs> I gotta move the bike to my workshop over here. Oh, we got another sponsor? Yep. What do we got? Uh, Fern Semi Famous Barbecue. <laughs> Dang, son. Yep, yep. Start to tear down for the next moto. Ugh. They're so strong. 
Sorry, Rona. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that perfect? Can't breathe though, I need to cut a hole. Seat is off. I miss the days of the 50s where literally like the seat off, you had access to everything. Side panel's off. Now we're gonna pull off the back half of the exhaust here. There we go. Kinda, sorta, maybe. So close. All right, we're off. Not gonna lie, Chris, I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed how dirty this thing is. Embarrassing. I'll put it on camera. Huh? Ah, see what she sounds like. Oh, man. All right, we've got both the nuts off. Oh, Chris is busy cleaning. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna pull your shock out here. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Ready? We're ready. Let's see what happens. Let's see what. It okay. Well, hey, the shock comes out real easy there. You versus the man. She says not to worry about. <laughs> Wait a, minute. Wait a minute. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Steady. Steady hands. It's a little bit longer. Is this gonna work with your chain length or we're we gonna have to like slide your wheel back or forward or one of the ways? This is why it's hard to hold a camera and work at the same time. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. Alright, we're in. Ah, my thumb's stuck. Alright, I got it out. Back one's a little, a little tight. There we go. Up a little more. Up there, down a little bit. Alright. She's in. Uh, do we have the uh, factory torque specs, Chris? Huh? All right. Plastics are on. Now we're gonna put the seat back on. It's our last step right here. As you guys can see, these plastics are all scraped up. Most of the bikes didn't really uh, fare too well after the wheel of death. Chris has uh, some pretty sick graphics ordered for this thing that should get here in the next couple of weeks. And then I think he's gonna take my set of black plastics that I have. Let's uh, see how stiff the shock is. Bro, this thing is stiff, dude. Like, are you on the, the shit right now? Chris, uh, Chris had to go blow up the bathroom right now, so he's uh, yelling out of the door. You want me to bring it into the bathroom with you? No. Oh, you're good? Yeah. Okay. Does it stink? I don't know, I'm out here. Stop blowing it out here. All right, let's see how you like it. it ain't bad. All right, we gotta do some wheelie, wheelie tests. It's a little dark out here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It looks like it made you worse. No. What? So now it's sitting like this, because it's taller. Yeah. So now we gotta move this up. Sergio! You on the way. What's up, Sergio? I heard somebody outside. I don't wanna do it. Come on, Sergio wants to learn. Yeah, yeah. How you do it. Teach Sergio how to ride the bike. You ever ridden a motorcycle ever? Once, but years ago. If you oh. panic, you just let go of the throttle, not yeah. full throttle. I've never <laughs> understood why people panic <laughs> rev the full throttle. Nice and slow. Nice and easy, Sergio. You got this, buddy. So right now you're in neutral. I won't go anywhere. Yeah. You're making Chris nervous. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to see how much throttle Yeah, okay, okay. yeah see, Sergio's smart. He's assessing the throttle. See, there you go, Sergio. It's the Manny Ripper and Sergio. Yeah, Sergio's a pro. Hey, we're gonna have Sergio ripping on the uh, wheel of death at the uh, pit bike track at the ranch here pretty soon. All right, well, Chris's bike is done. Uh, we're gonna wrap up for tonight. We're gonna grab the trailer tomorrow, bring it back over to Sergio's, and we're gonna finish up all of the lighting on that, getting the deck lights and all that put on. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, now this morning we've got a delivery that has just shown up for uh, Dedek's house over there. So we're gonna go meet them at the gate. Got the truck coming up behind us. Always makes me nervous when people come around the corner of the house. And nobody clips the roof. Nervous about going in Dedek's house here. Let's see. What's up, puppies? What's up, puppies? Now, for those of you wondering why we haven't started the whole kitchen remodel in this place, um, it took two months just to get a refrigerator. It's been absolutely insane on appliances, cabinets, all that stuff. So we've kind of been really on a standstill. There's not much we could do. But today we've got the refrigerator coming in. Look at that tight squeeze. About maxed out there on the doors. There you go. Oh, I got it. All right, so the new fridge is in, and as you guys know, we're gonna leave this plastic on. So instead of stainless steel, we got a nice blue stainless. All right, well, we just got here to pick up the trailer, and as you guys know, with me, or I probably should say with this truck, it uh, never fails that something's gonna go wrong. I just noticed I got in the truck right now, and I'm like, man, it really smells like fuel, and well, sure enough. Looks like we've got a pretty active fuel leak here. Well, let's see why she's leaking fuel. We can see it dripping off right about there, but obviously it's coming from somewhere higher up. So let's open the hood here. 
mean, good news is we don't see it spraying out like crazy, but it's clearly a big enough leak to be concerned about. I think we'll be fine to make it over to the warehouse, so we're gonna hook the trailer up right now. Use the backup camera here. And everybody's favorite, the finger taker offer. All right, here's the hoping we make it to the warehouse. Well, clearly you can see I made it all of about uh, not very many feet out of the driveway here. And you can see the trail of diesel and the fact that it's still actively pouring out diesel even more now. I am not gonna risk this at this point. So we're gonna drop the trailer and uh, maybe we'll grab the single cab or we'll grab the LOI and we'll let that tow this thing. It's always something guys, it's always something. These dang old trucks. Look at this was just literally from that jumping out real quick just to make that video before pulling the truck over and parking it there. Also, to everybody that says, oh man, your neighbors must hate you for parking all the stuff in the street and in the driveway. I'll have you guys know. We're in real good company in this neighborhood. As you can see by a small part of the neighbor's car collection. All right, so I guess we're taking the LLY here. She runs like a dream. It's gonna be her first day towing. We'll get the hitch swapped over. All right, old girl, you be safe today, all right? I'll be back later with Zach, trying to look under the hood. We'll see what's going on with you, all right? I swear, I'm, I'm coming back. Now that we're out of earshot of the uh, OBS there, I gotta say, the LLY looks pretty sick hooked up to this trailer. Obviously, when I was going for more street truck build, like, you ain't really building them to, you know, be some big tow rigs, but I gotta say, that's a killer combo right there, guys. The red wheels match the red on the uh, trailer over there pretty well. Shoot, we might have to throw some red wheels on the trailer. Make this the full-time combo right here. All right, so we're gonna start driving here. Let's use the little manual engage button. Oh, all right. I think that jolt right there means the trailer brake controller works. So far, the old LOI is doing just fine. And as always, it helps to have uh, the modern style GM tow mirrors on all my vehicles. I'm gonna apologize now. I had to switch over to using my phone for today's video. What? Sergio, you gotta talk louder. We're on a phone. Oh my God. All right, Sergio got a rib nut gun here all the dies and all the little little rib nut inserts so we're going to be uh finishing up the trailer here getting the deck lights put on which is again the last step to getting this thing knocked out Let's see what we got 180 pieces yep count them just to make sure we've had that's what we got chris for chris will count them <laughs> what else do we need that's it lights that's some wire we need some wire, wire. some loom they're not wireless what read the instructions <laughs> uh put in titan I have no clue. I've never used a rib nut gun. I thought you had. No, that was Derek. Uh, where's Derek? 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 How do you say it? Derek or Derek? Derek. Derek? Derek. Come on, Sergio, we're gonna speak Espanol this whole video. Okay, ready? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I don't know about this one. <laughs> Hola. Okay. ¿Qué tal? Uh, nada, ¿y tú? <laughs> trabajando. Ah, uh, todo tiempo trabajando. <laughs> sí, todo el tiempo. Gracias a Rino. Rinoceronte, no. <laughs> Me llamo Rhino, no Rino. Rhino. 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 En español se dice Rino. Rino? Mm -hmm. Ah, por mis amigos y amigas. Soy Rino. All right, Sergio, I think we've got about as far as we need to go in this. Before. <laughs> Chris over here getting his workout with the rib nut tool. So if you guys don't know what these do, and of course a helicopter is going to fly over right when we do this. And I don't have a microphone on my camera, like or on my phone, like I do my camera. Um, anyways, so you basically take these little threaded inserts here in whatever desired thread, pitch, or pattern you have. These are all metric right now. Um, let's take an M5, because an M5 is what we have on here. And you have a whole set of dies here, which basically correspond um, different sets of dies for each size of insert here. And then what you're gonna do, or what we're gonna do, is we're gonna drill a hole up underneath here, and then you insert this little booger into it. And it basically works like a rivet gun. So thread it on here. I'm gonna put it up in the hole. After it flings out of my hand. You put it up in the hole and you're gonna squeeze it and it's gonna basically again, like a rivet gun, it's gonna compress this backside. Like this one that I have right here that I just did as a little demo. And then what it leaves is a nice threaded insert that we can just bolt our light up underneath here instead of trying to through bolt this whole thing. Um, so right now we're trying to figure out placement either there or there. We want to place it to where you're, yeah, right there. Perfect, Sergio. Block half of it. 
we want to place it to where you can actually run the wire down like cleaner into up underneath the frame so even though further apart might be better these things actually throw a pretty wide beam on them probably get away with more inside i don't care whatever's easiest for you to wire sergio and look clean i think right there's fine well then you don't gotta like drill a hole through here to get it to the other side and then you don't gotta go around right there because that's weird Got so it. right so now you're just staying right yeah you're staying on that side of the angle i think it'll look better you don't have the right size no well oh, you got the right size bolt though right we could change the bolt yeah yeah we can but i want to go too small these are too small the biggest one is this one that's not big enough for a yeah but the gun doesn't have the tool for it like really so they give you all these dies, but they don't give you the right tool no, for the. I bought it separate. Oh, uh, you bought it separate. Sergio, <laughs> right angle because every, every, all the tools are like straight. Like, yeah. And we don't have the space to do it like here. So I was looking for a nine, a ninety degree angle tool. Gotcha. But I forgot to check the, the sizes that it comes. So since Sergio didn't get the right dies for the size we need, we're going through Dedic's bag over here. We got some yeah, more dies. Now we gotta make sure they work on Sergio's gun. It should it looks like the same Chinese die set. <laughs> I think we're good. Everybody gets, gets them from the same place. Uh, what do you need, M10? The biggest one they have is this one. Holy I mean, we don't need to go huge. That looks plenty big there, Sergio. Looking good. Rib nuts in. So yeah. one thing to note about rib nuts, and Sergio hates them for this reason, is you see that yeah. tiny yeah. little gap right there because there's that flange that has to sit on the face of the metal here. They do end up leaving a tiny little gap up underneath the trailer like this. It's not that big a deal. You're never going to notice it, but, <laughs> yeah, but it is something to note. That gap is real. Um, the other light's already mounted. And we got, shoot, we already got the wiring ready. I was actually thinking of using those ribbon nuts to, um, for my PDU boxes. Gotcha. But I hate that gap. That's why I didn't use it for the cover that it has. Yeah. I want it to be flat, so I didn't use those for that reason. All right. Dang. All right, Sergio's ready. We're going to go reveal the deck lights. I also got my camera back. It's a good day. Yeah. It's a good day. Good day. Good day. Remember how you had to um, had your ignition on to make the uh, yeah. parking lights work? Now it's over. Now we bypass that? Yeah. All right, so the parking lights will work with no ignition on. All right, let's see A. A is our backup lights and our side lights. Boom. B is our strobes. Looking good, looking good. C. Lucky number C. Dang. Look at that. Looking good, Sergio. Looking good, buddy. I think that's going to be perfect if we ever got to load anything up at night. Just enough light up on the deck. And again, these also offer, or these also work as like, hey, get off my butt lights. If anybody's <laughs> tailgating you. Definitely. I like it. I like it. And again, everything's tied separately to this switch. And once we have the battery box and all that in here, we'll be able to run all these lights even if the trailer's not connected to the truck. So these will be absolutely perfect. Bah! What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you giving him a remote yeah. too? That's dangerous. Oh, uh, really? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be driving behind me, like blinding himself, <laughs> playing with my lights while he's driving behind me. I think I'll leave these two in a different truck like I did with the first two you gave me. <laughs> so these are the only ones programmed with all four relays. So you have to get me the other ones so I can program two the other. Gotcha. Two all right. I could do that. All right. I'll totally forget that, but. They would have been with me today if we took the gray truck because they're in the gray truck. Now I waited for Sergio and everybody to kind of close up shops here. Obviously we've got a couple of these lights in the back alley, but this will give us a better idea here with all the truck lights off and everything. We'll light up the deck lights. Woo! Those boogers are bright from back here. Might be too bright. Might have to dim them so I'm not blinding myself while I'm trying to chain something down. I am very happy with that though. Again, low profile, nothing sticks out. It's all within the rail, so nothing's gonna get all beat up or anything over the years of loading this trailer and unloading it. If any of you guys own trailers, I'm telling you, Every single light I've put on this trailer, aside from the strobes, I feel like the strobes are not 100% necessary, but the reverse lights, the side reverse lights, and the deck lights, I know for a fact any trailer I buy from here on out is going to have a setup similar to this. Now, I've got Zach set up to uh, come over tomorrow and take a look at the crew cab OBS, so I guess we'll give you guys an update tomorrow. I don't know why my camera's not focused, Chris. It's showing Zach the goods there. So, we got Zach here. Zach, uh, this is the first time Zach's seen the fire truck. What do you think, buddy? Man, I want to play with the big toys. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, um, you know, Zach being the OBS master, I, I don't know where this lighting's good, but he's here to hopefully figure out what's going on with the OBS and the fuel leak. More interested right now in figuring out the fire truck. Good news is we got plenty of lighting here. We use our light bar there. Oh, hold on, we, can, we use, might as well use our spotlights too, up top. Holes on that side, so no matter where the leak's at, it'll always drip. That We're gonna fire her up. Let's see how much she leaks tonight. Watch now, all of a sudden, she's not gonna leak. Of 
course she's not leaking now. Zach, don't get the beard pot, buddy. Watch out. Now, I know it's probably hard to hear me on this video, but I mean, let's just appreciate two beautiful sounds of seven threes idling in the background. Yeah, I hate to say this, but all of a sudden she's not leaking. It might just take enough to build up before it starts to like show itself. Ain't this the story of trying to get something fixed? When you got the guy there to fix it, or you go to the shop, or you go to the dealership, it never does the issue. What is that now, though? Is that the fuel? That's not the fuel pump, right? Zach, it's really hard to show on camera because it's like deep down in there, but Zach has found the issue, and that is... Stupid sensor. sensor? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a restriction sensor, so it's like a pressure sensor. They're, they're, where the crimp is, they start to leak, so that's the only leak that I see, but it's a every, I'd say, three seconds of drip. It'll fill, like if you park it here and it runs, it'll fill the valley up, and then you park the other way and it drains all the, all the fluid out. Um, and they just fill up and then it all drains on one side. $35 sensor or $1,000 to go to e-fuel. I picked a thousand. You're paying? They got a payment plan? <laughs> Can they finance it with a firm? Also, remember when I told you guys that the neighbors don't really care about storing cars here because their car collection is growing? Well, looks like his is growing even more now. He's got him a pretty sick little van going on over here. I feel like Dave would really appreciate that bad boy. Well, I'm out here at a Ford dealership and we have gotten the fuel filter restriction sensor, which is what we needed for the uh, crew cap OBS. And while I was out here, I noticed they got a uh, couple of Bronco Sports. I was actually at another dealership earlier that had like a Badlands edition, which is a much more upgraded edition than these ones you'll see here. You can see here they don't even have the paint to match door handles. They've also got, let's see if we can see inside there. These ones are locked. Um, I should have gone to the other dealership because they had one that was open, but the bad lens is a much more option one than the these ones. You got the big bend here. Um, I'm assuming this is just the pretty much base model. Base model doesn't even have rear tinted windows. And prepare yourselves, because uh, this is probably the first time you guys are gonna see uh, 90s grunge band Rhino on the channel. Um, just went and got a haircut. For all of you that wonder how long my hair actually is when it's down, this is after cutting a couple of inches off of it, but but I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of comments on that, so let's just get that out of the way now. But anyways, I'm excited for the full-size Broncos to come out because these Bronco Sports are just tiny. They look a little bit goofy. And then for everybody that gets mad at us for calling this color rental car silver, you can see this is like the stripped down version, no rear wind, no tint on the rear windows or anything like that. And of course it is in rental car silver. I will say though, some of the details that are cool are like the color matched or well color matched, but white painted Bronco letters. Obviously uh, car manufacturers, they see what like the aftermarket world is doing and then eventually they start adapting. The painted letters look cool. I wish they would do the uh, Ford logos here, uh, paint to match because those just stand out and look really goofy. And these ones don't say it, but at the uh, other dealership it said not for sale yet. All right, y'all, well, we have made it back to the gray truck here. We're gonna fire her up and again, hopefully everything goes good. We've got our part now. Zach's over at the warehouse and we're gonna do a little swap. Now, I know yesterday when Zach came over, we couldn't get it really to start dripping, but that's because it like takes a while for the fuel to build up to where it actually starts showing itself. Um, We've made most of the drive over to the warehouse here just fine, but now as we're about to pull in, or as we are pulling in, I'm starting to smell fuel. So I'm assuming now it's really building up enough to where it's becoming an issue. We've got Chris over here, apparently giving his truck a bath. Let's get out and see if she's actually leaking. Yep, she has been leaking. We got fuel pouring out there. And puking. Yeah. And pop the hood. I did. I got the lid. Oh, no. the the coming back out. No. Oh, that's going to down there. Okay, so that's not that part. No. What is it? Well, that part's leaking too. But. Oh, okay. Now what is it? It probably is it, is it that seal number? Try the, uh, what do they call it? It's a, it's a stupid diaphragm that only the California trucks have and it equalizes the pressure, I guess, each head. Oh. And so it's a diaphragm, but it's got lines coming in and they're just like heat welded on. So it's probably cracked. And that's why every time it's pumping fuel into your rail, it's squirting out the crack. Yeah, that's a lot more than we well, saw yesterday squirting yeah, out. <laughs> definitely, it was fine for everybody. It definitely, I was like, oh yeah, sensor league. And like, he's like, no, it was puddles. I'm like, Okay, yeah, I can see like. Maybe. I'm assuming driving it heated it up enough or something to where like it expanded. That's exactly what Yeah, happened. and it started it squirting out. So, um, so, hey, let me shut this thing off so I can make it back home. Yeah. Now I gotta go swap back to the single cab because that's not happening tonight. 
Yeah, that's a little bit of fuel. We're gonna let this cool off for a minute. Hopefully that'll shrink up and then I got enough time to drive it back to go get the single cap. All right, so Zach's over here trying to convince me to go to swap See it out. See how all that leaky junk that's in your truck's not there anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. See? Like, like, oh. That's clean, I like no, this. Don't that. mind the oil leak. And that's a, that's a riffraff kit? No, so this, it's an irate, IDP make, irate diesel makes this, this kit. Um, they do sell just the regulated return, so you can run a fast pump if you wanted to, or something like that. This is part of it, so it actually feeds the fuel from the back and returns to the front, so it feeds the hot side of the motor cold fuel, so you don't have I mean, heat soaking fuel. Which it sounds like that's like a power eating thing uh, that I'm not too worried about on it. Fittings, it's all stainless. These stainless lines are. This is the feed. That's a feed, tease in. The returns come off the front of the head up to the regulator. Regulated, but the fuel lab run about 60 pounds in this one. Runs down soft line, comes underneath the truck. Two, there, well, my truck's running dirty. Hey, look. But it's got dual Baldwin's billet, uh, billet distribution block, um, like, Two in the morning ghetto make it work you run you can maintain both tanks it runs a, a bosch style pump get up to like 600 horse yeah we're already at like thousand horse i say you do it because clearly zach is very excited about it and you can't put a price tag on this that. was <laughs> after i bought this truck i had a leaky fuel issue too same thing my pump was leaking and that was the first thing i bought for this truck was that fuel system you're a heck of a salesman, Zach. You're a heck of a Saves salesman. Saves the truck, runs a water separator and a better filter than that shit canister one that you have. And it deletes all the known issues. I like you anything have. with delete in the title. So. That's, you know, <laughs> I, li I like that. All right, guys. Well, apparently that's what we're going to be doing. We thought the truck was, you know, going to be a tiny little sensor. But again, yesterday it was apparently really cold and it wasn't gushing out like it is today. But with that, we're gonna wrap up as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that you're not selling any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforthebell.com because if there's anything wild life, you gotta be going to work for it. You guys are the best. Shoot, great. Get, get, I don't wanna say it. say What was that? Rode, rode the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh.